Alright guys, Supreme Kami here and today we are going to be talking about Destiny Gundam. So Destiny Gundam definitely has gotten a substantial buff via the version 1.3 update. Because our runner unit has, you know, gotten a, you know, really big buff after using using the roll action so we are going to be taking a look at this unit today at base level 99 so i just level 90 excuse me um so i have upgraded everything to level 90 already so as for the base hp we are talking about 2053 boost 225 melee 645 ranged it 521 so um pretty much all all the all rounders uh, has you know a little bit more melee than the range i had pretty much no idea why uh as for some of the damage cut so that is uh, pretty much what we are looking at so physical is uh, seemingly a lot more better than the beam um just for any of the c unit or even c destiny units so not even sure why that is but uh going over to some of the weaponry we have the argandite beam sword so that one is going to be a beam uh, main range weapon we have the high energy beam rifle second uh seven ammo and then 11 seconds with the reload so that's actually quite good i'm um, going over to the set weapon one we have the flash edge two beam uh, boomerang so that's going to be a two ammo and 16 seconds for the reload so that's actually in practicality does come back quite fast if you uh, consider the fact that you are going to be doing some combos uh with that time you can definitely get a recharge really fast then up next that uh, we have the high energy long range beam cannon so this one is one magazine and 13 seconds for the reload so this one 13 seconds it seems manageable uh, but if you do have any good parts that happen to have like a recharge you know reload a reduction for let's say sub 2 slap that on because that will uh, seemingly greatly allow you to kind of continue the combo but if you don't want to use that uh, you can let's say increase your use limit for the uh, sub 2 because that is going to come in very handy for your combo string and then last but not least the special attack we have the close range combo make an initial strike then use close and weaponry to at least a Competition attack. So this one is going to be a hyper melee, just um, going to be a beam and physical at the same time. So that's going to be pretty much it as for the basic loadout for Destiny. So up next, so let's do talk about where you can get the Destiny blueprints. All right, so going over to the directory, the first one you want to target is going to be the directory 5C. So as far as how you can get this, uh, this is really just going to be under the break mission so after you defeated the destroy gundam it's going to be dropping the blueprint one for destiny gundam and then if you guys care about the red frame kai you guys can also get the blueprint two right there as well and then moving over to the blueprint two you can find that over at the directory 6b and this one is going to fall under the true mission so you want to swipe over, over this one and then after you defeated the um destiny gundam you will be able to obtain the blueprint number two and that is uh, how you can complete the destiny gundam okay so as for the equipment selection i went for the following so the first one i went for the range because this one happened to have some pretty good buffs to my sub two so why not and then this one actually just changed everything to physical which actually just makes it a lot more better if you consider consider the fact that this this overall kit is a beam um centered it so that's why this one is actually quite good uh moving on to two three and four they're pretty much going to be boosting all melee so this one melee melee and melee uh as well this one i do have a little bit of sub attack you know pretty much both of them so that's 15.9 percent so that's actually not bad and this one i think i, I want to say they're the best but at the moment i think they do work out quite good uh so one sub two does get a substantial buff in terms of their attack so that is uh, why i am using the following equipment for the destiny so far and moving over to the skill set these are some of the skill set i went for so first of all i had the roll action ring to go and lucky shot so these two i guess with nowadays you know all type all range all range unit or all, excuse me all round all rounders um i think they're uh, pretty much mandatory so this one you are pretty much starting out the match with 50 percent of your meteor so if you guys do not know after you actually use your role action for the all rounders now you get a twice increase for your spa so that is really important so i gotta have that uh this one i guess is more or less optional um this one if you guys do do like a good amount of combos i think you guys should be able to fill up your meter bar a little bit faster but uh if you guys want to continuously have that uh, role actually going on having this one just reduces the amount of you know consumption so, so that's why it's going to be good and last but not least we have the 
lucky shot. Why am I using this one? Because as for my beam cannon, I only have one ammo and I do want to try that out to see if I can potentially get more rounds. So this one is uh, simply to supplement that. Uh, it is, I would say it's quite useful because you guys can see that as for the combo, using the beam cannon is actually very important to continue that. So that's why I have that. You guys can definitely sub that in for something like, you know, further increasing, let's say your melee output or I don't, yeah, I think melee probably so this one is a weird thing because this one is the both melee and shots as far as the you know what kind of weapon weaponry you talk about so you can obviously go for let's say i don't know melee maniac if you want that temporary melee attack up but uh, other than that you can probably go for something if you are going to be doing continuously let's say doing air combo you can definitely go for that one or something that you know kind of generally boosts damage but uh so for me i'm gonna i'm gonna go with the lucky shot just to chance it up but uh, those are gonna be some of the skill set that i'm using for my destiny all right so destiny combo let's get started so i'm just going to do it with you guys like just doing it right now so i will talk about it afterward just because i get so distracted talking and doing it at the same time okay Alright, so that was a little bit awkward how I was doing it, um, but essentially what you want to be doing, um, so you're going to go in with your, like your regular 3 hits melee, and then after that you're going to do the hold for C, and then after that you want to go in for like another 2 to 3 normal melee attack, and then after that you're going to press your heavy, and then long hold your normal attacks, and then you want to go in for your sub 1, sub 2, and then continue going back to your heavy then hold your normal melee and then continue on um if you guys are not using lucky shot for example you guys will notice that you guys will not have another beam cannon ready so after that you want to go ahead and do a slam down and then you should drop to the completely on the floor and then after that you can kind of recycle to and pretty much do the same thing once again so uh do let me know how you guys feel about that combo um do you guys think it's a little bit hard or just kind of let me know what other combo were you guys able to kind of perform with the destiny here all right so as for my final verdict or you can say conclusion for the destiny kingdom uh, i think overall it's uh, definitely pretty positive um just the fact that the combo is uh, definitely really rewarding uh, if you know what you're doing uh, if you're able to consistently stay with the combo, you can definitely get a lot of use of that. Uh, another thing to note is the reload rate for the sub 1 and sub 2 while you're in combo, they come back really fast. And then in conjunction, if you are using the uh, lucky shot, uh, I think that's what, it, that, that's what it was called. But that will allow you, that, that really benefit it because you can just kind of continuously do your combo. So that's good. Um, I guess as for the negative, or you can say the con, is the fact that the normal attacks rate, like the like when you swing that sword, it takes so long. That is really re reminiscent of when you play a um, SDGO, like Destiny Kingdom. For what a reason, when they swing that Arcanine, it's so slow. Three hits. I mean, I'm not really complaining about the three hit, but the fact that the last hit is slow, uh, this make it make it worse right um, as far as like you want to continue continuously use your normal attacks to continue combo that could be a problem as well because there's only three hits so you you have the opportunity to just constantly drop that but overall pretty positive um just that this build it is it is a little bit on the mixed bag um so as for the beam cannon i really wouldn't pay much too attention to it and you could definitely like as far as the equipment you guys can definitely do put a little bit more for um you know the beam, beam cannon as well but if not going for melee is fine just because going with the sub one using the sub that sub one is definitely going to be carrying uh, alongside with the just the normal melee, melee attack and heavy attack but do let me know what are your thoughts about the destiny in them and then i'll be catching you all on the next one